would like to now to uh, pause and tribute all of the veterans, both past and present. And when I got here, they told me there's a very special person out there enjoying his 93rd birthday today. We would like to uh, bring tribute to Ralph Capagna over, over where to go. <laughs> By the truck? Just move? I don't know. All right, he's in the truck over there, the red truck. All right, he served in the uh, Veteran 82nd Airborne. He did 39 jumps with five combat jumps. So let's get a warm round of applause to Mr. Eric Pena. 93rd birthday today. Ralph Compagno. And who did you serve with? For the 82nd Airborne. And where did you drop in in Sierra? Normandy Invasion, the Battle of the Bulge, Ardania, and the Holland Jump. Wow. When did you go in on D Day the night before, or when did you? No, jump we in? jumped at three o'clock in the morning on the, on the Normandy Invasion. And then, wow. So you were the first in. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. We fought 33 days there. Wow, what was that? What, can you share some things that maybe happened on that drop? No. No? We just, when we jumped at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. we called up. There was 4,000 ships between England and France. Wow. We notified that we jumped behind the enemy line, and they started coming in. And that's how we got the Germans. We surrounded them. How you guys doing? Okay. What town did you drop there? St. Mary We jumped there, 82nd yeah. Airborne and 101st. Okay. 101st jumped in Bestone. Okay. They got surrounded by the, the Germans. But then we had to go over there, we got called to move and go help those guys out there, get them out of there. Yeah, oh, in Bestone. They were wow. surrounded from the Germans. Right. I always loved it. So we had to go there and... and were you in Patton's group? Patton? Were you part of Patton's group? Patton's oh, yeah. Okay. Pat, I love Patton. He's a good, good soldier. Did you ever get to meet him? Yeah. What was he like? Uh, he was rough. Rough? And I admit it. He was rough, but he was good, though. Okay. He was in the front line with the soldiers. Okay. Do you think uh, the movie Patton with George Scott does it justice or pure fiction? Just a little bit. Just just fiction, just, just, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Pat was a good soldier. Beautiful soldier. Yeah. I liked him. He was in the front line with the men all the time. Well, you want to be fellow good, strong leader, right? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He he didn't like us per two, but then he liked us because we jumped him ahead of, ahead of him, and then him and uh, so we surround the people. Oh, okay. So how then close he, did you ever get to shake his hand? How yeah. close did you, How close did you get to him? I close from here to there. Wow, so but you shook direct, his hand. Yeah, directing the soldiers. Oh, okay. He direct. Come on, let's get going. Let's get oh, going. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he was rough. Believe me, he was rough. I liked him. He ate the, he ate the Russians. <laughs> yeah, they make that clear, don't oh. they? <laughs> One day when I pulled on a guard for General Eisenhower after the war, I pulled nine months, and he was there. Was this I in said, Berlin? Where were, you, where were you doing no, the guard? No, this was in Frankfurt, Germany. In Frankfurt. Eisenhower had his office over there. Oh, okay. The I didn't know that. Yeah, he had an office over there. He pulled, I pulled nine months of the honey guard for him. But he came over there. I used to pull on the guard. I used to salute him and everything. Oh, wow. Said, okay. How do you like the Russians? Said, well, I'm ready, too. <laughs> we, used to kid, we used to kid each other. That's funny. Yeah, Eisenhower picked us, uh, the 508 Regiment, for pulling on a guard for him after the war. For nine months, you said? Yeah, I was there nine months. Well, that was a big change I got of out, pace. I got out of there March 28, 1946. How were the German people in Frankfurt at that point? German people were good. Yeah. Matter of fact, when we got there in Germany, when the war ended, we went to Frankfurt. To pull on the guard for General Eisenhower. We asked the, the women, but 
people there. I said, what do people think about losing the war? She says, we lost the war, that's all there is to it. But they were nice people. Thank you so much. We could speak to them for about a month. But then we had the, uh, a government from uh, Washington after a month, and we could speak to the German people. Oh, okay. Huh. For a while, for a while, for one month, we couldn't oh, fraternize with them. I didn't know that. Them. Wow. We couldn't fraternize with them. Otherwise, after sure. after the month and the law came, they said we could talk to the German. That's how we knew. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I have a diploma. Oh, oh wow. For a per, as a per troop, you have to qualify. Where did you go for your jump training? Yeah. Jump training was Fort Benning, Georgia. Fort Benning, which I think is still yeah, where they do it today. They still isn't do it, it? Yeah, yes. The last, I love that. I, that was the 16 classic. weeks of uh, paratroopers. You know, the stick shift. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the infantry. Really and the, the last four weeks of the month, uh, you have to pack yeah, your own shoe like and rain, you jump for five days. Okay. Or if you jump, and you're qualified, we and you get a, a diploma, wow. just like a doctor. Okay. Okay. I got a diploma, I got a you know, nice diploma and everything else. So. Matter of fact, my colonel, Colonel Mendez was in the 3rd uh, Battalion. Okay. He was called to California, Hollywood, okay. to direct the movie, Bridge Too Far. Bridge Too Far, that's a good one. Yeah. So he read the book, he read the book, and he said, okay, he says, I'll, I'll take yeah, care of it. The colonel yeah. says, told the guys, he says, but I want my own men. You know what they told him? No, he says, we don't need the men. We got our own men. So the colonel says, and I don't write the movie. He says, what you got on there, some of the stuff is false. He got called in Hollywood to make that movie. Yeah. Bridge too far? Yeah. Didn't he want to do it? They said, oh, we got our own men. The colonel says, some of the script it's not right. Good, good. I'm going to show you the picture of Normandy in Russia. Wow. Have you ever had a chance to go back to France since the yeah, war? Yeah, we went yeah? And then, and when the war ended. From the war but ended? Then we went out there went once and then we had reunions there. Yeah. Every four days. Okay. I know I traveled all over the United States. Okay, wow. For four days. For I speak French too. Really? <laughs> to parle français? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, parlez vous français. Très <laughs> bien. Je parle seulement un peu, seulement un peu. Uh, Only a little, seulement un peu. Yeah. Un peu. Yeah. So how old were you when you joined? 21 years old. 21, okay. So. That was what year? 42? Uh, no, that was in 1944. June 44. the 6th we jumped. But when did you join? 1942. 42. I got called. That's so are you from Franklin Park originally? Yes. Yeah, you grew up I here? I lived in Schiller Park from 1934 till 1995 and I moved over here. Okay. Uh, over here. And we had a farm where Dean Company is. Uh -huh. uh, we operated a farm. My dad. Oh wow! We had 75 acres. We were wow. farmers. Wow! We, we were, I'm a farmer. Okay. So how long did you keep the farm there? 27 years. We went. My dad. We loved the farm. I was born in Italy. Really? Wow! Where in Italy? Body. And you got the ocean. I don't know. Italy. Then yeah, you the see body, okay. it's on the other area. Oh, okay. Because I have I lived about I lived about two miles from the water, ocean, Adriatic Ocean. Okay. I used to go to the ocean, pick up all the fish and everything. Since I married war. an English girl. Oh, from did body. you? Oh, did you? Okay. I got four boys and a daughter, but I'm okay. I was divorced for 20 years. Okay. I was married to her 27 years. So you she met her during the war? Yeah. Okay. I was in Nottingham, England for oh. practice for parachute. Okay. Oh, before D-Day? Yeah. Ah, okay. I was there nine months. Okay. Jumping out of there. So you brought her here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my boy uh, was in Vietnam for three years. Okay. And he had a, he's got a stroke. Oh. But he's lived over here. 39 jumps, this old timer here. Very interesting. I'm showing the guys all. He's ready to go again right now if you talk to him long enough. <laughs> you like I didn't it? know he came over. He, I was surprised. I didn't shave. I thought it was. I said, oh. He, no, I said, don't have to dress up. It, it picked me up with the Jeep. Yeah, how you like to ride in the Jeep? Oh, my Bring back memories? <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to buy it after the war. Oh, were you? But how much I, were they after the war? For about $400, you could that's buy a, it. That's a deal. I got a letter from a guy from Holland. He takes care of Sergeant Rubarast. 
Trubolowski. He was a Polish guy from okay. Chicago. Okay. He was the first sergeant. He wanted to know because he's taking care of the grave. So I sent the picture of him and then I said, this is Sergeant Tribolas. I said, I cannot find a family in Chicago, but they're all gone. Wow. He wanted to know who's taking care, he's taking care of the graves over there. But I'll tell you, and I'll tell you, Frankfurt and Berlin, those are beautiful cities. Yeah, like over here, like brick bungalows and all yeah, that, yeah. like over here. Yeah. I thought, man, this is beautiful. What happened to that guy? Ruined the country. They, got the country. they had buildings like over here. Level, huh? Level. Beautiful, okay. honest to God. When we got, when we got there, it was about 4,000 B-17 bombers. Bombed the hell out of Berlin and Frankfurt. When we got, when the war ended, we, after a day, yeah, it was a day after. The town was on burning, and people were dead, burning in the home. That's how they bombed that for three days. No, four days, B-17 bombers. 4,000 play bombed the hell out of them. And that I seen. That's why my mind can't forget them. Days are gone. Yeah. It's 67 years. I figured 67. I want a real But Well, these are it. It's in my mind. I don't, you don't forget that. You know what, sweetheart? <laughs> I've been interviewed about 8,000 people. Yes. Okay? Yes. And I tell them, the war is over. Forget about it. Forget uh, about it? Yeah. No, I'll never forget. Can't I know forget. that. Yeah. My son says, Daddy, the war is over 67 years ago. What are you worried about? I said, we've been in there, and you can't forget about all that. So I do forget. But a lot yeah, of times people ask me have, questions. Uh, so what do you think of all this? What do you think of us reenacting? Is it a good thing? Oh, you mean here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's okay. It's yeah. a remembering. Yeah. That's all that is. It's yeah. a rem I like. I like yeah. it. We would like to uh, bring tribute to Ralph Capagna. Over. Uh, he served in the uh, 182nd Airborne. He did 39 jumps with five combat jumps. So let's get a warm round of applause for Mr. Rick Pena's 93rd birthday today.